we greet our dear andunulapam readers in the mighty name of the lord jesus it's 18th of january the thursday year 2024 today let's meditate on the topic eminence that was lost and the lord will make you the head and not the tail you shall be above only and not be beneath from the book of deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 13 those who have failed in their life those who have suffered huge losses in their business or those who have lost all of their name and fame will always look back at the time of all the glories and the preeminence they enjoyed in the past they may say with a sorrowful heart i used to have a beautiful house of my own an expensive car and a huge saving in my bank I had so many servants to take care of my every need but now i have lost everything lord jesus is the one who seeks and saves the lost he shall restore all that was lost and build you up and your family he has promised to make you the head and not the tail you shall be above only and not be beneath once a trader suffered huge losses in his business and became bankrupt he was completely dejected and ashamed to even be in the midst of others and in due course he was pushed to a state of mental disorder the pastor of his church came to know of his state called him and spoke words of encouragement he prayerfully said you are not in a low state you are indeed special and privileged in the sight of the lord and he is with you you still have your future ahead of you and you have not lost the grace of lord jesus therefore grasp the hand of lord jesus you will definitely come back to the top and the lord will surely bless you this prayerful words of encouragement made a great impact on the businessman with that encouragement he went home and started reading the bible with a real dedication he was touched in his heart when he read the verse that you are the salt of the earth he immediately started selling salt on a push cart the lord was with them and blessed them with a gradual flourishing in his business and helped them to buy huge salt pans he bought many lorries to transport the salt across the state and bought many bungalows he also gave generously for god's ministry and rejoiced in the lord there are many when they suffer losses in their business think of getting loans to somehow tide over the situation they go in search of lenders who will extend loans with high rates of interest they think of making good the losses with such loans but the scripture repeatedly warns us not to borrow have you lost everything in your life sit at the feet of the lord and examine yourself ask yourself why has such a thing happened to me have i grieved the lord in any of my actions or thoughts have i transgressed his commandments is there iniquity in my hand when you make straight all those which are crooked The Lord shall surely open new ways for you and exalt you. Verse for the meditation from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 12. The Lord will open to you his good treasure the heavens to give the rain to your land in its season and to bless all the work of your hand. You shall lend to many nations but you shall not borrow. Today's Bible reading Meditation for morning from the book of Genesis chapter 43 44 and chapter 45 Bible reading for the evening from the book of Matthew chapter 13 verses 24 to 